Hey guys, welcome back to Makeup with Destiny. Today I am going to be testing out a few different products, uh, mostly lipsticks, but I am going to be testing out this Nightingale Pretty Vulgar Eyeshadow Palette. And it looks like this on the inside. I did get this in my BoxyCharm, but I did look it up on the uh, Sephora website and it costs about $38 for the one palette. Also, I will be testing the Urban K Vice lipsticks. I got 10 in this box and they retail for about $18 a piece on the Urban Decay website. And I will link all of the websites down in my description box. So with that said, uh, let's get started on this video. I have no makeup on right now, so I'm gonna go put makeup on except for eyeshadow and lipstick and we'll test these babies out. So I'll be back in just a moment. So my whole entire face is all done. I am now ready to test out the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale palette. So today we're gonna start with, I think I wanna go in with Nocturnal first, just because you guys know I like a white shade on my eyelids before I put any color on it at all. So now that I have Nocturnal all over my lids, I think I want to dip into a little bit of Pillow Fight. And it's kind of just a tan color. And I always start lighter in my crease and then I'll build up. Next, I am going to go in with a little bit of Hide and Seek and I'm also going to tuck that directly into my crease. And I did forget to mention, I am using the Blending Crease Brush from Sephora. So before I move on with this palette, I do wanna mention that building up on the color is really hard and I'm noticing that there's quite a bit of fallout because when I dip into the shade, There's so much fallout. And I feel like I'm not really getting anywhere with these colors, but it might just because it might be because I am just using the lighter shades right now. Maybe I need to use some darker shades to get more pigment, but I'm not seeing much of a difference in my crease for my eyelid. So we're gonna continue on with the video and I'll let you guys know my final thoughts when we get to the end. But now we're gonna go right into, I wanna go into Swoop and see if maybe I could just put that on the outer corner and kind of blend up into my crease. And I'm just gonna use my Sephora eyeshadow brush to do that. So I do kind of feel like I'm not really getting anywhere with this palette. I did put it on the outer edges and I feel like I'm just making a humongous mess. I feel like it's not, every time I put on the eyeshadow and then I try to blend it, it kind of just goes away. So we'll keep going, but I don't think that this palette is really for me. It's not really working out for me. So, Next, we are going to go into Clutch, and we're gonna put that in the inner corner, and maybe this shimmer works better. And I'm just gonna use my Sephora concealer brush. So, I'm thinking that this palette is maybe not for me. This is as far as I got, and I feel like it just made more of a mess on my face than anything, but I will swatch these guys for you on camera before we put this palette away. So, this is Nocturnal, which was that white shade we started out with. Nothing. <laughs> Uh, Pillow Fight, which is this middle tanner shade. See, and it's kind of like 
crusting and flaking and I can't tell where my swatches are because they're nowhere to be found. Break Free, which is this shimmery white shade. So we are going to start with Nocturnal, which is this white shade. And nothing came up. So before I swatch these, I wanna let you know that there is almost no pigment to many of them. Maybe I should have done a darker look, but then that doesn't justify why the uh, lighter colors don't work. <laughs> All right, so I am gonna swatch these, but I do wanna let you know that a lot of the lighter shades are not gonna show up. Uh, it might be my skin tone, and maybe I should have done a darker look, but that still doesn't justify why none of the lighter shades necessarily work. So we'll go in with Nocturnal. And it doesn't show up. Nothing. Then Pillow Fight. And I am digging into these, like, hard. So Pillow Fight is a shimmery shade, but doesn't really show up either. Break Free, which is a shimmery white shade. No surprise there, nothing showed up. Dark Side, which is a grayish color. Also the only one to show up so far, really. You can kind of see uh, Break Free a little bit, but it's not as pigmented as I would like it. Next, we'll go on with Clutch, which I am wearing on my eyelids, but it didn't show up very well. See, it shows up when you use your finger, but not when you use a brush. Flip out. That one came out good. I spy. Wow, that came out really dark too. Silver spoon. Swoop. After midnight. And the last one is All Nighter. So here are all of the swatches from lightest to darkest. And although they did come out kind of pigmented on my arm, when I went to blend it into my eye, all of the pigment disappeared. So I do not think that the Nightingale Pretty Vulgar palette is for me. Maybe it's my skin tone, maybe I wasn't using it right. Either way, whatever the case might be, this palette was not for me. So next we will move on to the Urban Decay Vice Lipsticks. So I am back. I have put on off camera some eyelashes, some mascara, and some eyeliner as well. And I just wanna get into testing these lipsticks, the Urban Decay Vice Lipsticks, and this is what they look like. And this one is in the color Gash, which is a cream lipstick. All right, and this is Gash. 
So I do want to let you guys know that these lipsticks do tend to stain, it seems to me, because I took it all off and it still looks like I have lipstick on. But we're just going to dive into the next color, which is Wired, this pinky looking color. Here is Wired. Bad Blood, which is a comfort matte. And here's Bad Blood. 714, which is a mega matte. Here's 714. Temper, which is another comfort matte. And here is Temper. So I know I said I was going to swatch all these on my lips, but my lips are very, very raw. And as it is winter, my lips are already chapped as is, so I am gonna swatch the rest of the colors. All right, so we have 69, which is this pink color. F-bomb, which is a cream. And this looks more red to me. Trist, which is a pink color and also a cream. Mia, which is a brown shade, also a cream. Cruel, which is metalized, and it's a browner color as well. All right, guys, without further ado, this is the end of the video. My final thoughts on the Urban Decay Vice lipsticks is that they are very pigmented. They would be long lasting, I feel like. I feel like I could wear this lipstick all day because it's almost a lip stain. They are so hard to get off, which is why my lips went raw halfway through the video. I do apologize, but it was rubbing my lips raw just trying to get all that pigment off. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and tell me maybe which is your favorite shade or what your favorite part of this video was. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions on what I should do next, go ahead and comment that down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys!